Hey guys, we are in our way for striking back to 3000 and here is a very hard end game position. I'm thinking about king f5, it goes king d4, for example, it turns around my pawn and then I go, okay, what about if I go king uh, uh, i thought first king f5 and then king f4 and then takes on uh, g3 but the point is that after i go to uh, g4 he takes my pawn my e pawn and then when he takes my e pawn i have nothing to do like i can take his e uh, g pawn but then he just uh, stays around and waits for me i can take all of his pawns but it doesn't help so maybe the plan is to go the other direction like d4 d5 yeah d5 because i should push this oh okay well, let me tell you what was the the, the tactic i started from here when here if i was going there he was going there and then after some captures i couldn't do anything like if i was um, he was uh, walking around if I was going here, here at any moment, he was mm, uh, taking opposition, and I couldn't do anything. Like uh, these pawns are nothing. But if we go that way, that we did, he has no way. That, like he can go backward, of course, but then uh, we get in, and at the very end, like uh, he tries to keep uh, opposition. For example, we uh, uh, can I say here, and we get in. And he cannot survive like at some point he should give up and even if it wasn't there was an opposition like he uh, could take his pawns and so on uh, we just uh, could move the other pawns yeah that's it let's go to the next one that was an easy one somehow i say check with the queen and he goes down and then i say check with the uh, rook he if he takes on my rook i'm happy i take back with the queen and that's it but he plays bishop there and then i can attack that bishop with the bishop okay sounds promising let's do it let's do it is it mm, bishop a6 yeah bishop a6 is the way to go If I take it, he has to take with the rook, and then I can say check with the king. And can I mate it? Yeah, I can mate it. Oh, he takes this one. That's true. This is also possible. What I thought was that after this, this, if I take it, oh, sorry. If I take it, he has to take with the rook, and then I go here with check. He goes up, and here is a mate okay let's go to the next one if i say check with the bishop where does it goes it doesn't go anywhere good and why this is so simple oh because i'm under check already i'm under check <laughs> no it's very strange that he's checking me he's winning my pawn i don't know how could i win actually Yeah, I think I should take that pawn. Otherwise, I lose. Okay, anyway, I was losing. A, I don't know. Ah, beautiful. This was beautiful. This was beautiful. I didn't discuss it because it was disgusting to lose that. Okay. What to do next? This queen seems somehow trapped. What can I do to finish it? Can I play bishop uh, at g5? And then the only place for queen is um, h7. I can say check with the bishop uh, to give a space to my rook. And when he moves the king, I can bring the queen in as well and no i don't see the direct like this move is forced right 
This move is forced. Then I think bishop takes um, uh, e3 is also forced, like the only move. And then the idea, my idea is to bring the queen in the game. Queen, uh, I want to play queen g5, and then I don't know what to do next. So, how to tear up this queen? Uh, okay, I say that check. Let me say this check. This is somehow forced. And even queen g5 is also forced to keep the queens uh, the, uh, to block his queen further. But then I really don't see. Is it the case that I should castle? Then it's very dirty. Of course, if I play queen g5, I'm attacking his knight, but that's not a big deal. He just, he just do what? If I win the knight, I'm up a piece, right? So it's not bad. So he should move the knight, uh, and it is with the turret. And this is end of a game, right? Because then it was made, uh, if he was defending, like, okay. And this okay let's uh, go here up to here was forced and here if i if it was taking like this one it was made right and yeah after i take he took here but my point is that why he didn't play something like knight here mm, okay it was a complex tactic i could have castled he would have take this then i could have uh, uh, the reason that he takes that pawn is that he wants to escape from uh, dangerous squares with queen but it doesn't have he had some checks but at the end at the very end like he says that you should sacrifice and because my queen goes to that line and kills it. okay next tactic the next one okay i can attack the queen but then i leave the defense of the e pawn Mm, is it does it matter is it important i attack the queen he takes my pawn with a check this is the problem this is the problem otherwise it was okay what if i just say check he takes with the knight i take with the bishop and it's nothing what if i just simply play rook h8 he says one check, I escape, he does have, uh, he, uh, I don't just block it with the bishop. And he's under pressure and he should do something in, reg in this regard. Okay, right, I think that's the way to go. It sounds very stupid, but I think that's the way to go. That's the way to go okay oh finished okay the point was that uh let me the point was that after here okay he couldn't do something fancy like this because i just made it and he couldn't just push the pawn to get rid of this knight or that mate because i just take it and then, then what else he could do okay you may say that why he should take that pawn uh, just directly play here yeah that's good but it doesn't work because after we take he takes we just say check and uh, like uh, at the very least we win that mm, the uh, several pieces but uh, we win this bishop and uh, like uh, if he says uh, he cannot uh, say check if he tries to resist and uh, the problem the problem right now is that uh, i'm under attacking mode he should block this diagonal because um, if i say check with the queen basically uh, i disable him doing anything but again uh, he cannot do it because we have this idea that we had at the start to bring the rook on the uh, f file and attacking the queen or you say that okay he doesn't need to bring the bishop there he goes back with the um, queen then we take the bishop 
or he goes back with the queen there, then we pin the bishop queen, so everything was hanging over there, and he couldn't escape. I hope that you enjoyed, and until next